360 TV proudly presents Messages of Inspirational Stories. Broadcasting and live streaming to millions of devices around the world, including Roku. And live streaming to Facebook Live. Also on Amazon Fire TV. And to Twitch. Also, Android TV and Periscope. Broadcasting to Apple TV and YouTube Live. Proudly brought to you by our host, Donna Guinoa, producer and host, Michaela Vidal, host and administrator, and Jim Grant producer and host proudly brought to you by the six minute webinar.com good afternoon welcome to the show folks we are so excited you joining us here on messages of inspirational stories jim how are you I got to be retrained, Donna. You know, I took off the past weekend and went down to Galveston, really enjoyed myself, had a lot of fun down there with family and friends. Uh, Evelyn's cousin, uh, Steve, came in, uh, Steve Ortega, Esteban Ortega, also known as, I don't know how he got the nickname Bones. He's had it all of his life, but he just, I think it was because he was a skinny kid. His dad called him Bones, but uh, we had a wonderful time, and uh, Steve and I, were like brothers, and I love what he told the lady at the at the place we ate at there, and she says, are you related? And he put his arm around me and said, yeah, we're brothers, but <laughs> from different mothers, <laughs> <laughs> and that pretty much solves, uh, you know, sums it up right there, because uh, being part of the family for all those years, I'm still a part of the family for all these years, I should say, and having to see him he, he just comes down he's very laid back and he says i just wanted to do galveston see some things we went down to galveston and we not only got he got a chance to see the things he wanted to see but we were able to take him to some places he didn't know anything about so we were right. it was just every day we we came home our tongues <laughs> hanging out you know kind of dragging but we we walked and we we talked we had a wonderful time we saw the the Moody Mansion, I could, we went on a ghost tour, you know, and all those things. You got to go on a ghost tour, you know, when you go to a place, you know. You know, and that's where you find out all the good stuff, you know. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's where you find your town's history on the ghost. Yeah, the ghost absolutely. Ghost. And, you know, they talked a lot about the Great Storm. It was a huge event down there in 1900 uh, because the highest place on the island prior to that, Donna, was only eight foot high. Oh, the wow. The entire island. And then when that storm came, it, they called it a great storm. They didn't name hurricanes back in the 1900s. Right. It was uh, September the 8th, 1900, and it was Category 4. Winds 140, 145 mile an hour. Mm -hmm. the, the waves came in 12, 15 foot high. Oh, I can About imagine. Six, six to 8,000 people. They really don't know like, the exact count. People just got washed away and dead mm -hmm. bodies everywhere. And just about all of the, just about a, only about a third of the buildings actually survived. And then they had to build the seawall up 15 foot, I think it was. And then they had to raise the island 15 foot. And it, that's right. another story that we're not going to get into. But it was quite an engineering feat because back then they didn't have caterpillars and front loaders, front end loaders, and didn't right. have tractors. They had horses and carts and, and Oxen. wagons. Oxen. Yeah, and Manuel Labor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And it, it's one of the most amazing engineering feats. And uh, it's been able to, you know, it gets hit, you know, from hurricanes since then, of course, but uh, not the devastation. That is, I think that is still the most uh, uh, devastating thing that's ever happened. The biggest tragedy to the United States as far as the loss of life in one instance. That was just one day. Right. Yeah, man. And they didn't they, they didn't even know it was coming. Right. Poor people. And they knew nothing about hurricanes. They, there was, you know, uh, you know, just it's just uh, you really feel, you know, sorry for the people who went through it. But the thing about Galveston is like people everywhere. 
they rebounded back and they're strong and they're, you know, they learn from their history. And we're going to be talking today about learning some things from history when it comes to home-based businesses, because you and I, we got some experience in that arena. We want to help, we want to help some people out there struggling, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I like, um, Jim, you've done a little research on this. We talked about it. When did, uh, tell the folks when home-based businesses really, truly started to come around. Okay. <clears throat> they really started getting a toehold and started coming forward right after World War II. Mm -hmm. Because as we're talking about preparing for the 2022, the not a New Year's resolution, but a New Year's revolution, it's, revolution. it's coming. It's mm -hmm. coming. Because people are tired of doom and gloom. That's what happened after World War II. Uh, people had went through a long period of time mm. so from 1929 when the stock market crashed in the 1930s. It was known as the Dust Bowl. People were the Depression. People were right. down and out. And a lot of people don't realize when the United States entered World War II after the uh, bombing of uh, December the 7th, uh, 1941 at Pearl Harbor, right. the United States, we were a fifth world power. Right. And all of the sacrifices made from everybody for the war effort. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine, you know, you know, going through the Depression then going through four years of World, world War II, people were now, and this is what's going to happen in 2022. People are going to say, hey, I want to live. I want to thrive. I want to survive. I want to enjoy the abundance of life. I'm tired of this doom and gloom. Right. I want to prosper. And I want yes. to do it with happiness, mm -hmm. with energy. Mm -hmm. But- Gosh, there's a lot out there mm -hmm. and there's a, there's a lot of, um, I don't want to say pitfalls, but there's a lot of things that, you know, we've learned over our years, Jim, mm -hmm. that maybe we can reach out and help somebody who's wanting oh. to start out, uh, you know, a home-based business. Oh yes. My goodness. Because a lot of people are looking for ways to replace what they lost back in 2020, because it's never going to be the same. That's why 2022 is going to be a New Year's resolution. And getting revolution. back to revolution. Yeah, you said okay. resolution. Oh, okay. I get, you know, both start with R, so you got to bear with me there a little bit. I know, bit. Jim, I know. Yeah, I was out in that, you know, enjoying Galveston and got in the sun and all that. So I'm still frequency hopping a little bit. Not that I was <laughs> drinking or anything, just that I was just totally, you know, I totally unwind. Right. You were totally there. immersed in the moment. Oh, yeah. But going back to after World War II, that's when suburbia mm -hmm. became a reality in America. Neighbor right. knew neighbor. You knew the guy down the street. Nowadays, uh, you don't even know the person two or three doors down sometimes. Right. You and might recognize them, and throw up your hand, but you don't know. Them. Right. Exactly. And, and people knew everybody who had businesses. Yes, because and, commerce was done with everybody. Mm -hmm, yes. People had that entrepreneurial spirit. Right. Uh, communities had cookouts. They took pride in their communities. It was kind of like a one big family gathering. And it was very, very common for someone to say, hey, you know, I'm in, I'm involved in this little business. Well, well tell me about it. You know, and right. they, they wanted to diversify. They wanted to have multiple streams of income. They wanted to live, thrive and survive. And that's where a lot of companies got into the word of mouth of, right. you know, multi-level marketing. And the problem with that is, is that they never changed their technique. Right. This is the one thing that's very, very old school. Now, the old school, ladies and gentlemen, it will still work. It will always work, but it is the slowest and hardest way for it to work. It is. And the thing that I, uh, with one company I was involved with for a while, the thing that got to me was that they were, you know, had me focused on the products, the benefit of the products. These are the products. These are the features and benefits of it. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. But then without teaching me how to share the knowledge about right. the, the product, the value there, then it returned into recruit, 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 make a list, make a list, your hot list, your warm list, your cold list, you know? Right. And it almost, it almost by not teaching um, about products, if, if mm -hmm. you're a product-based business and in all reality, it doesn't matter what you do. 
If you are a coach, it's still a product-based business. Yes. Everything is product-based. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter whether it's you're selling this glass of water or mm -hmm. you're, you're coaching somebody. It's still mm -hmm. product-based. Mm -hmm. And you have to understand, A, your product. And mm -hmm. I always, this is huge for me. I always, I've said this for many years now, you are a product or a byproduct of your product. Mm -hmm. so you have to understand it, but it doesn't matter how good your product is. Right. If you don't understand, believe 100% in you mm -hmm. first, and then your product, nothing mm -hmm. will get sold. You're absolutely right, because everyone out there that's it's been through what we've been through, you know that you know that you know that you can hear somebody talk. It's been in the business for two or three years and they're a double diamond or triple diamond or there's, you know, they're, they've reached the upper levels of achievement mm -hmm. and they can talk. But the problem with that is that's very, very hard to duplicate. Right. Because it's got to be you. Take, for example, here on the show, I open the show a certain way. Donna opens the show a certain way. We both open the show. We just do it in our own flavor. Right. It's not right. It's not wrong. It just is. Yeah. Who we are. And you're not a human. You're not a, you're not made to be a human parrot. Right. Because when you're repeating someone else's words, you're not talking from you, from your heart. You're not talking from your heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you know what? It'll show. This yes. is one thing that I <clears throat> always talk to my clients about. And Jim, you know, you understand energy as well. I promise you, if it's not from your heart, Mm -hmm. that's your energy and it mm -hmm. will show up at the door before you ever walk through it. Absolutely. And then of course they want you to ask person, a person for their most valuable commodity, their time. Their time. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing uh, Thursday night? Uh, I don't know. What, what we think about? Well, I got some people coming over the house. Like you come over and take a look at something. Well, what's it about? I don't know anything about it. Yeah, because they tell you, don't explain it. Right. Just right. get them over there. Get the heart in the seat, you know, get them in the seats. Right. And, and I never was comfortable with that because I, I'm the kind of person, if someone asks me a question, I'm going to give them an honest answer. That's right. the way I'm wired. But the thing, too, is that you're automatically trying to change someone's way of thinking to your way of thinking. And quickly. Yes. You, you're trying to change it in essentially a nanosecond. And mm -hmm. sometimes he, here's what <clears throat> Jim and I have both learned over the years. You can't, you can't get somebody to know, like, and trust you without putting time in that. Mm -hmm. You have yeah. to build that relationship. So yeah. that relationship has to build. And so it may be months before you can actually approach somebody about mm -hmm. what it is you're doing. Oh, yeah. And, you know, we've all been there. You know, you, right. you talk to someone, you get them come to a meeting, they get excited and you're like, oh, boy, you can hardly sleep at night. The next day or two days later, you go see the person, try to call them on the phone, especially if you go see them, they see you coming and they look the other way. And they, oh, they want to avoid you like you've got COVID, right. you know. <laughs> And, right. and that is so hard. And that's because the foundation has not been built there. You Correct. see, every I like to say it's about multi-level marketing companies. The one thing that I believe they all have in common is that they all offer great products. Right. They really, truly do. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do, you want to attract people that want to talk to you about the benefit they will receive in their life. Right from using the product. If they're not a believer in the product, forget it. Why would they want to be, yeah. Why would they want to become a distributor? Right. Why would they want to be a business partner with you? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're going to talk briefly about Melaleuca. They have not paid us any money for any advertisements and we're using them as an example only. We're not recruiting from Melaleuca. We may mention Amway. We're not affiliated with Amway either. And we're not, you know. Mary Kay to... is another one. Yes. Yes. All of these are great products. And what you do, you're able to market yourself based on 
you know, I'll, I'll use Mela Luka's example. We've had Dr. George Grant on. Those that you mm -hmm. watch the show know <laughs> Dr. George Grant was zinc for the dink and zinc way you think and, right. and all that stuff. <laughs> well, he's got that little AO scanner I've talked about. Well, the first, well, these are the first second time I had him on. He scanned me without me knowing it, which which was fine. He says, yeah, he says, I scan people like this. And I thought he was explaining it to me. Right. He was actually scanning me. And then the second time, they says, I'm going to scan you and get an update from the first time. I said, <laughs> first time? He said, yeah. He said, I scanned you before. I said, oh, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> so then he scanned me before because after the first scanning, he told me, he says, Jim, he says, I highly recommend you to get on Melaleuca, mm -hmm. the good products there, the uh, power pack for longevity, yada, da, 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 da. The performance pack is amazing. Peak, yeah, yes, it is. That's the name of it. Thank you. See, I, I don't even know the name, but I just have an automatic ship because I don't recruit people for it or anything like that. I just share with people, find something that works for you because right, right. now everyone's interested in their health. Mm-hmm. A lot of companies have great vitamins out there and make sure that the vitamins you're getting and the supplements you're getting or whatever you're putting in your body for enhance your health, maintain your health because it's a it's a lifestyle. Right. Make sure you know where the products is coming from and what they're made of. Well, and the and the quality. Yes. So that's what Jim means by what they're made of is the quality, because, you know, unfortunately, with the way. Um, regulations are, you can say, you know, this is made with whatever X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. And it is, it's got this much X, Y, Z. And you're right. thinking that you're taking this much X, Y, Z mm -hmm. in that product, but you're mm -hmm. not because the way it is, it, it is uh, regulated. If it's in there at a certain amount, it can mm -hmm. be, it can be touted as that. Yes, exactly. You're exactly right. And, uh, also, the quality, it may, there, oh. you know, there's, <laughs> there is, they may have the same name, but the quality may, <clears throat> may not be there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you want to make sure what you're putting in your body is giving you the desired benefit. Right. That you're paying for. Okay. So that's important. So anyway, uh, he got me on a power pack for longevity. Peak and uh, I, yeah, peak performance. <laughs> I call it power pack. I don't know where I got that. See, yeah, I'm not real good at Mel Lucas. I think it's because me. it makes you feel powerful, Jim. <clears throat> well, mentally it does anyway. <laughs> 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 but uh, anyway, he scanned me the second <laughs> time and then he sent me the thing right there on the very quickly. He said, Yeah, take a look at this. And I pull up this big long, you know, this email, this pages and pages and pages of stuff. And it was a full blown MRI. But what surprised me was that a lot of the red markers that it showed on, on the first test were now green. And he right. said, you're doing this. You need, and you need to do this. You need to cut this back. You need, he was giving me some good advice yeah. there. But uh, the point being by using uh, the Melaleuca there, you know, I was able to em enhance my health, improve my health. Right. And which, uh, you know, which is something that we're all searching for. And, mm -hmm. You know, Amway's got some good vitamins. You, you oh, may yeah. know someone in Amway. You may know someone in Melaleuca. If you do, get with them and talk about the product, the benefit of the product for you, right. what's in it for you. Because if it's no benefit for you, you got no business talking to them about being a distributor because your heart's not in it. Right, right. Now, it's, I want to... Well, I was just going to say, it's, it's so important that whatever home-based business that mm -hmm. you might be in okay whether it's your full-time or it's your part-time that you're mm -hmm. trying to build up to replace your full-time right that understanding uh people mm -hmm. right understanding your target audience and people is so incredibly important mm-hmm Right. Yes. You have to understand it. You have to believe mm -hmm. in yourself because mm -hmm. if you don't, whew, it's going to show. Yes. Yes. And people are going to ask you questions from time to time. You're not going to know the answer. And the thing to do is that, you know, hmm, I'm not sure about that. Let me get the answer and I'll get back with you. Right. Just tell them, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty new in this and yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure. But mm -hmm. let me find out and I'll get back with you. What's a good time to call you back, Jim? Yeah, exactly. That's how you handle it. Yeah. And people appreciate that because they know that you're honest. Right. And you're not just going to give them some cotton candy answer, as I call it. 
uh, you know, just to pass time or to blow them off. Because if someone asked you a question, you owe them an honest answer. Absolutely. And your your name is associated with what your what your 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 product is. OK. Yeah. So that's your integrity. Yes, it is. It's very, very important. And you're able to then once you able to reach clients that's interested in, I'm going to say health, for example, because health's a big thing right now. Once you can reach clients about, you know, the benefit of a particular, let's say, vitamin or health supplement, whatever. And you're able to communicate with them. They're only interested in one thing. What it does for them. Precisely. They're not interested in going to a meeting. They're, of course, nowadays with COVID, that'd be real hard too, even virtual meetings. But no one wants to go to a meeting and hear a sales pitch. You know, if you don't have enough, if the product does not meet their needs, you know, you thank them for their time and thank them and say, if you have any more questions or information you'd like to have, please let me know right. da, 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 and let them go. Because absolutely, because you can actually talk to people that want to talk to you. Think about that. If you're a multi-level, because the first thing, you, first big problem that multi-level marketing or home-based businesses have, they run out of people. They run out of their warm client. Or oh, their warm, yeah. Their warm target, their warm yeah. audience. Yeah. And let's be honest. Do you really want to go into business with your brother-in-law? I mean, I, I got good brother-in-laws, don't get me wrong. But I mean, I don't want to go in business with family. Well, geez, you know, I got to be honest with you. Etchy has a very large family. Mm -hmm. I haven't even met all my brother-in-laws. Hmm. Wow. He's, he's the youngest of seven. Hmm. So I know... Two of his brothers. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see. You know, they they may ask you about, you know, in, in just in casual passing, someone may ask you about, you know, your health or whatever. Health comes up very often. We're using health right now because health is very big with COVID over the last year and a half now, two years going on, two years. But And it's a good uh, example for this show. Yes, it is. And uh, you can say, well, you know, I, like I just shared with you about the markers going from right. red to green. See, that's information. It'd be like, wow, tell me more. <laughs> and if someone asked me about what it's like to be a distributor or something like that or money, I got no idea because I, right. I haven't recruited anybody because right. that's not my cup of tea. Right. It really isn't. I'm sharing that with you too. And I'm encouraging you to find something that will enhance your health, keep you healthy, keep your immune system built up, and there's a lot of great products out there, you know, in the home-based business and outside the home-based business, but find something that works for you. Right. Because if you got your health, you've got everything. And I would also suggest that whatever it is you're involved in, mm. find your niche. Yes. Find your niche. So, you know, mm -hmm. um, I've had my own uh, Mel Luca business for 17 years. And I mm -hmm. am absolutely in love with their products. Yes. Um, it is not my hundred uh, percent job. I, mm -mm. you know, I talk to people about it, but I don't actively bring people in. However, when people do ask me, and this always gets their attention, I talk about the outgassing that the the products in the supermarket that have chemicals in it, how mm. harmful they are in your home with your children and your pets. And Listen why, to this. And why my cats, God rest their souls, lived to 20 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because Donna educated me on that because we were talking about, she says, Jim, have you tried that? And, no, I haven't tried that. She says, oh, my goodness. And then she was explaining how some of the toxic things and chemicals that you use in your house from convert, from the, you know, available at the grocery store, supermarket, wherever. And those toxic chemicals get transferred in from the pods of your, your pet's feet into their right. system. I'm going, wow, I didn't know that. Well, See, that's a huge benefit. It is. And, you know, and I'm, we're all animal lovers. Everybody who's watched our show knows that we're animals lovers. Mm -hmm. um, but I have four kittens right now and I've got an 11 year old dog and mm -hmm. they're in great shape. I mean, well, okay. My kittens are just full of it right now, but I, <laughs> they're doing what kittens do. But, you know, <laughs> my dog, 
Mm -hmm. My dog is in excellent shape. And I actually give him the same glucosamine chondroitin that I take. Mm -hmm. I give him one every single day. Yeah. So because you, know, there's, you can find, and I use that as an example, folks, to find your niche. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Find out what's a blessing to you and could be a blessing to other people. Right. And if you do, if you focus on that, the money will come. Oh, yeah. If you're in a home-based business and that is, that's your calling, if you focus on being a blessing to others, mm -hmm. that is a universal principle. Universal law. Yes. It, you cannot be denied. And you can't go wrong when you try and help somebody else first. Amen. Amen. And, uh, you know, the because money is the poorest motivator on planet Earth. It is. A lot of, a lot of people don't know that. But money is the poorest motivator on planet Earth. People Think want to feel that. valued. Mm -hmm. They want to feel respected. And they want to feel really loved and trusted. Yeah, because being a social creature, you want to be associated with companies that are reputable, people that are reputable. That and go their, above and beyond. Yeah, and their products are you know second to none. That's a win-win-win situation mm -hmm. for you. Absolutely. And you have, and notice we didn't say one word about recruiting. Right. You'll be talking to people who want to talk to you once they experience the value in the product and they see what the product can do for them or whatever, whatever the case may be. Then you can make the suggestion because they know you, they like you, they trust you and say, you know, I'd love to continue selling this at, you know, the regular price, but you can buy it at a uh, lesser price, a wholesale price, whatever you guys call it. And I will teach you how to get the information out to people so that you can talk to people that want to talk to you about the benefit of the products that gets involved in their life. Right. And Donna, we use the six minute webinar for that, can't we? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've used the six minute webinar for a lot of things. Oh, we, yeah. We were on a summit in India mm -hmm. uh, several months ago. And the king of Omen was going mm -hmm. to be on. And so we were like, well, you know, our job is to make the host look good. Mm -hmm. When you're a speaker, that is your job. Your yeah. job is to make that host look amazing. Mm -hmm. So we went in and used the six minute webinar and created our speech. And they yeah. were amazing speeches. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Cause you, you see these people on summits and I'm not knocking anybody. I'm just saying right. they don't know any better. Okay. Let's say that uh, I come on before Donna and I said, I'm Jim Grant. I'm the, I'm a producer and host on a TV show, a radio show. I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other, I'm a speaker, I'm an author, blah, 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 blah. It's all about me. Mm -hmm. And then Donna would come in and using the six minute webinar, you know, the, the phrase, the phraseology of it, the format of it. And you would give an introduction like what, Donna? I would say, first of all, I'd say, let me ask you a question and answer me honestly. And then I'd ask my question because that gets their attention and mm -hmm. it's not about me. And then I go in through the, through more of my speech before I ever introduce myself. Mm -hmm. So I'm and, halfway through it before I say, Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name yeah. is Donna Guinoa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and I am the owner and founder of high energy performance coaching. I'm producer mm -hmm. and host of, you know, uh, messages of inspirational stories. So that comes in way down the page. Right, way right. Way down the page because it isn't about me. It mm -hmm. is about giving the best speech you can give to make your host shine mm -hmm. and to keep everybody who's out there intrigued and want to know more. And it's yeah. the same way in a home based business. Mm -hmm. It sure is. Because when I started my presentation, I like can say the king of almonds there. The six minute webinar normally starts out. So during this six minute webinar, so you tell people up front, it's a six minute <laughs> webinar, which is important. I'm going to share with you three proven ways that you can boom, 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 boom. Whatever your product offers, one webinar per product. 
If people are interested in losing weight, they want to lose weight. They don't want to hear about quitting smoking, how to deal with your, you know, your spouse or significant other, you know, that you'd like to hang at night, you know. <clears throat> but, you know, and when I started my particular presentation that day, because uh, at first I turned her down. Right. Because the subject was on rainwater harvesting and um, what was it? What was it? What's the summit on now? I'm trying to think. Uh, Water conservation and rainwater Water harvesting. Right. That's what it was. And I said, I don't have any experience in that. And Actually, said, it's not in either one of our wheelhouses. Mm -mm. But I, I thought about it and I said, well, I can do a talk. And I shared it with her. She says, oh, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. And uh, rather than say some of the ways that some people think over there, I changed that to old school thinking. Right. Old world thinking. But the way I started out, ladies and gentlemen, I simply said, during my pr presentation today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to share with you three proven ways that you can get your community involved to make your community a better place for you. Now, that sounds a whole lot better. Me coming out there, I'm Jim Grant, I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other, blah, 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 because, you know, plus there's a danger there. You can use your titles and things like this as if you're, elevating yourself above the other folks out there. And people don't like that. Right. Right. That you're I, trying to show them up. Yeah. I don't like anybody talk down to me. Right. And no one does. No one does because it shows lack of respect for a human being. It exactly. really does. Exactly. And with the uh, home-based business, my goodness gracious, you can do so much with that. Your focus would be on how can I serve others and how can I talk to people who want to talk to me? Right. We had two great weeks of marketing relationships with Mr. X. <laughs> Notice how he says everything in life is marketing relationships. And we build marketing, marketing relationship. We mentioned puppies a while ago, how we love our animals and all that. Our, our charity that we sponsor and we promote is the shelter to soldier org. And it is a wonderful charity because it fits us. It does. Because this is who we are. We like dogs and we love, you know, hearing the stories how they go into shelters and they select the dogs that probably would never be taken home. Right. And they don't get put to sleep because these are, you know, fairly good sized dogs. They're not, you know, little they're not, lap, they're not right. lap puppies. Right. I was going to say they're no three mm -hmm. pounders. Mm -mm. And these dogs are trained mm -hmm. and to be to work with and build a companionship for, and I'm probably slaughtering this all the pieces, but Donna cleaned it up for me, but they are trained to recognize PTSD, mm -hmm. deal with PTSD. And then when a soldier comes over to be introduced to the dogs, they introduce them to several dogs based on what they know about the soldier, that sort of thing. Right. And the thing that I love is that every single soldier that has received a dog through this program, not one has committed suicide. Right. And the other thing, folks, is that it is free to our mm -hmm. vets. Yes. So if you know yes. anything about how expensive it is to train a service animal, we're mm -hmm. talking high thousands, like yeah. $10,000 and up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is very, yeah. very expensive. And so, you know, we were talking about it uh, on one of our shows. And I said, you know, the beautiful thing is it isn't just the dog that wins. It mm. isn't the soldier that wins. But when that soldier does not commit suicide, mm -hmm. entire family and the entire world. Yeah. It, it family and friends. Right. It's it's a ripple effect, folks. Mm -hmm. It really is. And uh, we, we share that and we've said it several times. And I'm going to say it again because it might be someone out there listening for the first time. What if you're calling in life? Mm -hmm. was to be able to create a program to rescue dogs from shelters, keep them being put to sleep, and train them. They don't have to be trained to the level that these dogs have been trained, but train them to be companions and find homes for them. Now, I know that sounds tough, but, I mean, there's a lot of lonely people out there. Mm -hmm. We're social creatures. We are. Being being felt like you're all alone, no one loves you, that is the, oh, that is the express way for people to end their life or look yeah. for ways to end their life. And you think about if you could save one dog and save one person's life, 
How would that make you feel? Mm -hmm. Well, and if you don't know where to start right here, shelterculture.org, yeah. you can mm -hmm. actually go in and donate mm -hmm. or you can go in and actually pay for a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at the shelter so there's many ways that you can become oh yeah and, and tax right off folks and if you didn't donate a hundred dollars yes. to them and let the, and let us know here at the station donna what will they receive for that hundred dollars they get time a half an hour with mr x yes he will actually do a little deep dive into your business and mm -hmm. help you uh, find what you can, what you're doing well, what you can mm -hmm. do better and what isn't working for you. Yes. And Mr. X is, uh, he's done a business with a lot of fortune 100 company. Uh, trust me on this. Any marketing guru, right. they either know who he is or chances are they took courses under him. Right. And or they're, they're using, yeah. And they're using the same things that he taught them to, you know, for their course that they sell. Right, right. And you can, for a hundred dollars, you can actually get in touch with Mr. X. We will introduce you there. We will. And uh, just put our uh, email address up there, inspiration E360 TV. And he will give, this is a, this is a no pitch zone. Right. A no pitch zone. And how good is Mr. X? Well, he was good enough to walk his crew, his team, into the uh, boardroom of Home Depot and they closed the deal. So I think he could probably help you. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Cause uh, that's kind of a hard one to, that's kind of a hard sell right there. Home Depot. Yeah. You They're better believe it. Boys. Yeah. And he tells a funny story and it is funny because I can't imagine anybody saying this because I couldn't right? even understand it. Okay. So we were sitting there and this guy and he's a, they're in the boardroom of Home Depot, and he says, yeah, we're the 800-pound gorilla that everybody wants to get in bed with, you know? You go like, I don't think <laughs> I, you know, I mean, I wouldn't even know how to process that. Who'd want right. to get in bed with a gorilla anyway? I mean, why even talk about a bed or a gorilla? I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's one of those things you hear, okay, just let it go. <laughs> just you can't handle it. <laughs> you can't process it. Just let it go. Just keep and, doing what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, and for you ladies out there, he's he was a guy. Okay, guys say nutty things when their ego and their pride get puffed up. So it's a. <laughs> <you know>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, um, yeah. If you if you're thinking about using that, please don't. Right. Please yeah. don't. We highly recommend unless your uh, mission in life is to chase away everybody, then right. that'd be a good one because. Right. Uh, it was kind of an odd expression, but yes, Mr. X did walk him into Home Depot and uh, he will sit down with you for 30 minutes and give you an undivided attention on what you're doing right in your business, right? areas that you may want to improve in your business. I don't care if you're just a, you know, home-based business that, you know, you're multi-level marketing and you're struggling and you don't know where to turn because people want to sell you this, people want to sell you that and... Right. I got to give you, I got to give you this here. I fell into after I sold my business and I semi retired in 2007, I found out that retirement is not for me. I mean, you know, it's just not, it's just not my, in my calling in life. And I right. knew it. And when you're not doing what your, your calling in life is to serve others, you're miserable. And you get old quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you start watching your toenails grow, that's pretty bad. <laughs> right. And uh, so I got online. This was in 2009. And this guy sounded good because I listened to several guys and you kind of, well, he sounds good. She sounds good. And going, like, hmm, which one? You don't know. Right. And yeah. So I bought the base package for nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. And this was my thinking. Well, you know, I'll buy the base package. And if it works, then I will go move up to the, the next level, right? So I get this thing in. And I'd like to think that I'm not, you know, dumb. But this thing made me feel borderline stupid. Right. The best way I can describe it to you in layman terms was like, if you order a thousand piece puzzle and it comes in 
and there's no picture on the box. And put it together. And your, your instructions are find the four corner pieces, then find all the other straight edge pieces and put them together with the four corners in each corner, da, 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 da. And then once you get that done, just put the other pieces, fit the other pieces inside of the rectangle. Right. And I was like, you know, I was pushing a chain uphill with this thing. So I called the guy and I said, I'm not really understanding how this thing works. I mean, I can't get it together. I mean, it just doesn't make any kind of sense to me. And he says, oh, well, you need my advanced program. <laughs> and I'm going like, hello, if I don't understand your basic program, how would I understand your advanced program? Because, you know, going through college, if you're going to take Spanish one, they're not going to put you in Spanish two. Right. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be, everybody's going to be talking some foreign language that you don't, you, especially if you don't know Spanish, you can be lost. And that's how I felt. And so then I uh, asked him for a refund. I said, well, I think it's best if I just send this back and, and get a refund. I'm sorry to ask, but I just, that, this is just not for me. Right. The fine print and little words, you know, all the fine print's always small words, right? Right. It started on the, well, it's at the end of one sentence, it's all sales. Next line, our final. Our final. Mm -hmm. Okay. So make sure that whatever company you represent or any product you represent or any coaching program you represent, make sure you offer a full 30-day money-back guarantee. Mm -hmm. And if you think that costs you money, you well, are thinking wrong. It will make you money. Yes. People and buy confidence. Right. And I would suggest make it in big letters. Yes. Big, bold yeah. letters. Yes. Because that's important. That's, right. Because that's just telling them that you're confident in what you do mm -hmm. and you're not afraid to say, okay, this didn't work. Darn it. Thought it was going to, but here, I'm going to refund your money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because if someone is not happy with your product or your service, do you really want to keep their money? Right. Not at all. You want to say, I'm sorry it didn't work out for you. I'll be more than happy to refund your money. Mm -hmm. And any company in a home-based business that you represent, that would be one of the questions you want to ask them to qualify. Because after all, you're associating your good name with those people. Right. And please, please, please. Do not get involved in any kind of a business based on how much money you can make. Oof. That's a train wreck, ain't it, Donna? It is. Because, you know, if you're, if you're just about the money, well, that mm -hmm. energy shows before you walk through the door. Mm-hmm. And you'll never have enough. You'll, you'll, you will actually be, you'll sound desperate trying to sell it. Right. Right. And so you know, uh, like a little role play would be like, Hey Jim, you know, mm -hmm. I got this great product and it's really great. And, and, and if you come on board and become a business partner with me, we're mm -hmm. going to make a lot of money together. So what I really need you to do is, you know, just trust me in this and let's sign up. And let's get together and make some money. How much money do you want to make? How much money do you need to make, Jim? Wow. Right. So when people come at you like that, it's yeah, it's it's, it's like whoa, whoa, you know, warning, yeah. warning, 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 run. Mm -hmm. But when you go from the heart and you're like, Jim, you know, this has really made a huge difference in my life, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it's if it would work for you. But if you're open to a few minutes, I'd like to share with you how I think it might help you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And using Mela Luca as an example, Donna could say, Jim, I don't know about you, but I found this to really increase the longevity of my pets, their health and all that. I'd right. like to have a few minutes to talk to you about, you know, the harmful chemicals you might be using and an alternative. Uh, could we set up a set, a set up a time and talk? That's convenient well, for you. Yeah, because now that's she's important. talking about something that's in it for me. I'm interested in the health of my 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 fur babies. Okay, I love animals, 
And, uh, you know, you, you, if you're an animal lover, I mean, my goodness, losing a dog or, you know, something like that, it just, or it stabs you in the heart. Cat. Yeah, cat, whatever. I mean, it's amazing how people get attached to their animals. I mean, uh, there are some animals or pets that people have that I wouldn't choose as a pet, but that's their pet. Right, right. They love that pet. And they want the best for their pets. Because it's a win-win situation, especially right. with the unconditional love you get in return. Oh, my right. goodness. So when you talk from your heart, mm -hmm. that shows. Yes. It yes, shows. It does. And I'm telling you, the energy that comes out. Mm. Because what happens when I talk about something that's really near and dear to my heart and that I love, I know for a fact my eyes just sit there and sparkle. <laughs> and really just about anybody else's eyes will do that, too. But when you talk about money, holy moly, then then what you're sounding like is, you know, I really don't care about you. What I do care about is what's going to be in my bank account. Mm -hmm. That's right. And that's, that's right. the message it portrays. Yeah. And don't you just love it? I don't know who it had to be a guy. Ladies, this had to be the bird brain mind child of some guy. Because I heard a lot of people say it down through the years. Not so much anymore, thank goodness. But <clears throat> you do like saving money, don't you? Yeah. Like, what's someone going to say? <laughs> well, you got me there, partner. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I, I couldn't wiggle out of it, honey. I mean, <laughs> he said you like saving money. I know how much you like saving money. So I said, <laughs> reel me in. I'm hook, line, and sinker. Good. <laughs> It, because it sounds so ridiculous. It does. And, uh, it, it sounds so insincere. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And another thing, too, we were we were out buying a, a vacuum cleaner. We were looking at vacuum cleaners. And we were in an apartment store one time. This is back in the 80s. And, <laughs> and this young guy standing there, and he was talking about the vacuum cleaner. And he's, he used the term state of the art. And I looked at him, and I thought, and I popped off because we come up with some idiotic. Expect the unexpected. Right. And I said, in comparison to what? Oh, uh, well, um, he didn't know what to say. Because mm -hmm. he was just popping off verbiage. Right. Like a human parrot. Oh, and state of the art. That sounds good. Yeah. You well, know, and probably it. what he was told. Mm -hmm. Yep. And that's why you need to come from the heart. You need to know that you know that you know. When mm -hmm. you talk to someone about a product or service that you represent, this product or service can be of a benefit to them. And if they say no, you know, thank you very much for your time. If I can, you know, be of any service to you in the future, please, you know, let me know. I'd be glad. Right. You know, and, you know that that's worth leave them on a kind note because it is their money. They have the right to hang on to it. Right. And, the, and yes, they do want to save money, but it may not be with you. <laughs> I never have forgot that, you know, you do like to save money, don't you? Did I tell you, Don McGrath knows me very well, and I think Donna knows me well enough to know when a salesperson or marketer calls me on the phone. I can have fun with them. I figure, well, you've interrupted me, so I might as well have a little fun because humor is good right. for you. Laughter is good. And this guy, we're going down the road, Don and I were. My phone rings. And I was expecting a call, so me driving, I just answered my cell phone. This, Jim, uh, Mr. Grant, how are you today? I'm going, what do you want? That's the way it went, you know. And the guy was selling new roofs, wanted to sell me a new roof. And I'm in Colorado Springs, and he, I don't know where he was at because my home's in Texas. I, I'm up in Colorado, Don. And I said, oh, man, 20-year warranty, man, that ain't going to do me no good. Why not? Oh, I just talked to my attorney yesterday and I got to go before the judge on Monday. <laughs> he says, I'm looking at a minimum of 25 years, man. I mean, I don't care about no roof right now. I mean, my wife and her boyfriend are going to live there anyway. So why should <laughs> I care about they got a roof over their head? <laughs> and the guy got real quiet and Don's sitting over there cracking up. He's like a hen cackling on a, on a bunch of eggs. <laughs> uh, and I said, well, he started it. I just finished it. Right. He hung up, he hung up on me. The guy hung up on me. Right. But, you know, it's that that's how 
you don't want to be known. You want to be known from coming from the heart and asking people questions. Plus, as Mr. X said, listen up. You want to pre-qualify people. Right. Because you want to make sure you work with people that you can help and not babysit. Right. And one of the best ways is simply sit down and have a conversation with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, That's your exactly. Qualification, you know, mm -hmm. Jim. You know how how are you doing? How's how's your health doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, how's how's that little fur baby of yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, you get them talking because people like to what talk about themselves. That's they right. don't want to hear about your life. Mm -hmm. They don't want to hear about your life. That exactly. Only Right. So it just when you have that honest conversation mm -hmm. and find out what is in their life that they that they adore, that they want, that they mm -hmm. that's when you can find out whether or not yeah. you can help them. Sure. Sure. And a lot of times you can start a conversation, you know, you can start just, to, you know, it, the other day I heard something it remind me of you. And we were talking about, you know our pets, or we were talking about our cars, or we were talking about whatever. Right. We were talking about our power bill and, you know, whatever it might be to refresh their memory, open the door and see how receptive they are to talk to you at that point. Mm -hmm. If they're not interested in talking to you at that point, you know, just you know, let them go and say, right. you know, we'll stay in touch. Hope you have a good day. And, you know, it, people ask me this. When I closed the BFI account, the national account, when I had my business, I had an appointment with the big guy in the corporate office. So I show up about 15 minutes before the appointment. And I could see through the glass windows, he was not having a good day. I could not hear his voice, but this was his body language. That's not the kind of body language that you need for a sales call and I own right. my company. So I got, I walked over to his secretary and I says, I know right now is not a good time for a, my appointment, but could I at least just have one minute, maybe a minute and a half of this time. I just want to introduce myself, drop off my information. And I promise you, I will be out of there within less than 90, 90 seconds. And, uh, I said, let him know that. I'd just like to have 90 seconds and I'm gone. So she goes in there after he gets off the phone and he's kind of like. Like that. So I promised 90 seconds. That's what I'm going to live to. And I walked in and introduced myself and I, <clears throat> I said, sir, you know, I called him by Mr. So-and-so. And I said, I realize this is not a good day, but I just want to thank you for letting me come in and drop off my information and introduce myself. Here's my business card. Here's my packet. I was going to drop off with you. Oh, okay. Okay. And he's kind of putting it over there. And I says, before I go, I'd like to ask you one question. I said, before I go, and then I paused, use the power of the pause. Right. And he kind of like looked at me because I tell him I'm, I'm going, but before I go, I'd like to ask you one question. He looked at me. I says, the only thing I want to know is what do I need to do to earn your business? And I shut up and looked at him. That's a closing question. When you ask a closing question, be quiet. Right. Otherwise, it won't be closed. Right. And he kind of like looked back and he says, uh, I'm familiar with your company. You got good prices. You got good products and you got a great reputation. He says, I'll call you next week. Thank you very much, sir. I hope your day goes better. And thank you again for seeing me. And least, you know, I appreciate it. Have a nice day. Bye. -bye. I was out of there. Right. I closed the account. I knew I had it in my hip pocket before I got out to the parking lot. <laughs> right. But uh, my point being in sharing that with you is, you know, treat people with respect. You may, because you know, a lot of people, they call you up. How you doing, Dave? Well, I'm kind of busy. Well, they don't even listen to that. They want to go into this big spill right away. That's that can kill you. And Donna, my goodness gracious, we're about out of time. Aren't we? I was just going to say we are about out of time, which means mm -hmm. you didn't bring the quarters <clears throat> again. I knew there was something I forgot. But <laughs> <laughs> well, we're well, going to be back tomorrow. Donna and I will be. And uh, we're going to be sharing some more information about home based businesses. I'm going to be talking about. Uh, some techniques and things that we've learned and 
most importantly, things you can start doing now. Because you need to start preparing now for the New Year's revolution, revolution 2022, because it's coming. It is. If you're not ready, you're not going to be able to grab a hold of the bump, bumper when that car takes off. <laughs> that is exactly right. And, you know, we want to also thank each and every one of you who've tuned in mm -hmm. wherever you are, whatever time, whether it's day or night. Um, thank you so much from the bottom oh, of yeah. our hearts. Oh, thank yeah. you for tuning in. And, you know, we hope that you have a absolutely beautiful and blessed day or evening. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm going to share some things tomorrow about how you can get people to want to talk to you. I'm going to go into more detail about that. If that sounds good, be sure and tune in, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Donna and her beautiful hat there, and I ain't going to ask her where she's going because she's going somewhere. I know that. But anyway. Right? Uh, she might be going to the supermarket. But she's going to, wherever she goes, she's going to go styling. <laughs> she's going to go styling. <laughs> But thank you so very much for tuning in. We sincerely hope that this show has been a blessing to you. And most importantly, share the show with others. Let them know because there's a lot of people out there that need good help. They need good information. And they want, don't want to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Just for $100, you can get a 30-minute presentation with Mr. X. Right. I guarantee you. And we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same station. And I'll be wearing a different shirt. She'll be wearing a different hat. <laughs> bye, folks. Bye-bye, folks. Have a wonderful evening. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.